Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Space Astronomy 2 Let's Play series and I've been doing some grindy work off camera. My machine setup might seem a bit bulkier than we last started, but that's because I was pre-recording, but now I am away from my natural or ordinary recording spot. I'm now in a different place. And I have quite a bit more free time on my hands for this vacation that I'm currently on than I thought I would. So I'm I'm recording some videos while I'm there just to keep me entertained because recording videos is a nice hobby that I like. So basically, I started doing a new mod just because it was very, very laborious. Oh, by the way, we're not on the moon. The moon uh, and the... Galactic craft planet stuff. Yeah, we're gonna take a pause and break on that because I thought that was getting repetitive. Although out of episode I did make some solid progress towards it. Drone, get away from me. Haya, haya, haya. I have gone mining a lot because uh, I have been making some moon stuff out of episode, uh, like uh, some more supplies. Not anything new. But it took me a while, but out of episode, wrong chest, wrong chest, I made 10 oxygen collectors, 10 solar panels, 2 storage clusters, which are, um, which are, like, really big energy storage modules, 2 oxygen storage modules, I'm going to make some more, as you can see right here, but, uh, I believe I ran out of 10, and which is why I stopped, something is annoying me really, really bad. Okay, uh, that just came up my computer. Yeah, I was trying to get into the actually distant uh, additions mod right here. You see, I was looking up a laser right there, but um, yeah, that's it seemed too complicated for the time being. Basically, we were getting into the mystical agriculture. So basically, I was getting a load of infernium essence, which is actually now that I've gotten into the mod has become quite precious and prosperity shards which not so much I mean I have loads of them you don't use them too often the prosperity shards but the infernium essence is like gold it's no it's not literally like gold but it's amazing so what you do is you craft seeds you see I have some infernium, infernium seeds in my inventory and basically with those seeds you can pretty much farm I'm adjusting my chair right now. You can pretty much farm every ore in the game. Now, I believe you can farm, like, a lot. See, these are all the different seeds. Let's see. Uh, these are crafting seeds that you'll need to get other seeds. So, basically, since you need so much Infernium Essence, which can be found in the nether or in the ground, you can actually grow Infernium in plants to just make it easier. You can farm, and then um, with these crafting seeds, you can fa you can make stone seeds, dirt seeds, uh, uh, nature seeds, wood seeds, water seeds, ice seeds, fire seeds, dye seeds, nether seeds, coal seeds, iron seeds, nether quartz seeds, glowstone seeds, redstone seeds, obsidian seeds, gold seeds, uh, lapis seeds, end seeds, experience seeds, diamond seeds, emerald seeds, zombie seeds, pig seeds, chicken seeds, and all sorts. I would go on, but I think that might be a bit boring. And so, ooh. Okay, that just caught my attention right there. So basically, you put place one down, and then it will give you essence of that. So for instance, if I type in, well, I have some essence. Uh, I have some gold essence right here, which if I look up gold essence, if it'll let me, okay. You go here. With that, you can craft gold ingots. So it's basically you can farm several different resources. And so basically, with the Ender IO mod, I can make an automatic uh, farming station, which is what I've been doing. And in order to speed up the growth process, because these things grow pretty slow. And drone just, wanna, just wants to rain on my pre um, pre a uh, parade. So in order to speed things up, I made these things called growth accelerators, and I've put them directly underneath. They cost one diamond each, but they really do speed up the process. And plus, I add I added some worms, which basically will fertilize the soil. 
uh, I don't have a water source, and they water it for me, which is why some spots go dry occasionally. And they also speed up the growth process by occasionally bone, um, bone milling randomly p random plants. And you see, most of this is infernium essence, so I can craft others. But like, for example, that's gold essence right there. Like, this is where I get all the gold that I've gotten so far. I think about twelve ingots. But this, once you once you really start to expand, this can get really insane. Uh, resources, and I believe yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is steel, and I believe I have another steel somewhere. Right there, that that steel. Are any others? I think the rest are in just infernium. I don't think I replanted. So yeah, basically you just apply this with a hoe, um, and a ooh, tier seat, tier two seats. Don't mind if I do. And I got some gold essence as well. And harvest, harvest for a demonstration, please. Thank you. And. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that all of these are tier 2. Because I'm pretty sure that I have, I still have some tier 1s. Basically the different types of tiers and infernium seeds. Because in all infernium seeds harvest different, uh, no, harvest infernium. So basically the higher this um, tier, the more you get per harvest. And this now that I've added loads of growth accelerators, this thing works like a charm. And I got some uh, fertilized essence right there, which I believe is just bone meal for these plants. Um okay, there we go. And as you see, I just have some wiring here. I just added some item conduits from Ender.io to basically send the items into this chest. And I literally, I think I emptied it directly before this video started. And it is already full again, but this essence, I believe, you just plonk it on. I want to do the gold essence because gold is very valuable. And there we go. You see, it. Um, I got this. Um, I got some spare gold out of that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I made some emerald armor and this i put on some adventuring clothes um so basically you can have like this armor that you see on the outside but like this is my actual armor emerald armor is slightly wor no better than diamond uh i believe and then i also upgraded my jetpack i forgot to sh show that so i upgraded it to a vibrant jetpack and it was a little complicated but i made a stack of vibrant alloy and then it was pretty much you know situated I think my main objective right now, if I can see, so seed. Oops, sorry, I accidentally hit mute on my mic, um, mic there for a second. So I think my main objective is right now to get tier 5 crafting seeds. And with tier 5 crafting seeds, I can farm diamonds, emeralds, wither skeletons. And from wither skeletons, you get uh, wither essence. And with Wither Essence, you can actually craft, like, Wither, um, wither Skeleton and Skulls and stuff like that. Titanium Seeds, Uranium Seeds, Iridium, I believe, yeah, Vibrant Alloy Seeds, Minium as well, uh, Refined Obsidian, Dash, Ender Amethyst. It has a bunch of things from other mods, and with even the four crafting seeds are decent, because you can get Gold, Lapis, um, I, I, I think I got two, um, of the four ones, because I think I got gold and steel, which is right here, yeah, steel seeds, you can make enderman seeds, gas seeds, there's so many seeds that I can farm, and I just want to do them all. There was one really, I think you can do energetic, yeah, you can do energetic alloy, there's a train going off right now. Osmium, glowstone. You can even do meteoric iron, which is what kind of surprised me. So we don't have to worry about getting all of those meteors from the moon, which are a big. So oh, also, I added um, a energy storage module right here, which can store 50 million RF. I'm just charging up this jetpack. My jetpack can now hold 20 million RF, and before it could only hold 4 million. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, this, 
I also found an easy way to get steel. I know I'm blabbering on, but I no longer need that steel setup that I got over there. I'm probably just gonna make like tending like um probably about half a stack to cover for the what I used up there and um just throw it away. Um because I did some more researching and it took me a while to find this, but it's a metal R2 confuser. It wasn't that hard to make. Basically, all you it runs on RF and all you need is I'll give a quick demonstration, but if all you need for one piece ingot of steel is two coal and one iron ingot. It takes quite it takes up quite a bit of power though per ingot. If I can get this so basically all you do is you put the coal in, then that turns into carbon, and then you let it go and it adds the carbon to it and then it turns it into this weird thing which I'm not really sure what it is enriched iron but if you put that in again that's why I added two pieces of coal uh, you need 20 um 20 carbon I don't I'm not really sure how much you can uh but that gives you steel dust which if you put into any type of furnace or alloy smelter it gives you a steel ingot um, I believe that is everything. Um, ba 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 bum 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 bum. I also made some more rocket fuel. And besides that, I think that's everything. So I will cut ahead into the video. I don't know what we're going to be doing today. Probably just going to. This is probably just a. This is just a little quick progress update. But I'm going to. Come back into the video to have some more progress to show you. Probably until I have AFK'd for a while. I'm probably going to do a lot of work out of episode just because, you know, I already have a few videos spare, um, recorded and I don't want to rush myself. So, I will be back with you in just one second. Okay, everyone. So, a ridiculous <clears throat> the amount of time has passed. I really just didn't feel like recording, to be honest, for the past couple of days. And it's been about two days since I recorded the last clip. I've been... Well, I've had lots of time, and I've done lots of progress. Lots and lots and lots of progress. I should really get rid of these chests, seeing as I can now make steel. But I'm kind of... Yeah. I don't know why I didn't record sooner. I just didn't. So things probably look a lot different. Let me explain this. So firstly, I upgraded the storage. Secondly, uh, let me go outside. So the mystical agriculture farm, it was right here. But then I put some of the capacitors that I kept finding in the moon dungeons into it. And I noticed that its range vastly increased. So I then um, moved it to an area where... Uh, and I'm lagging right now. I'm, so I moved it to an area. Come on. Uh, where I would have enough space to put it to its full potential, basically. And I also organized it. So this farm right here that I'm looking towards is going to be specifically for uh, for farming vanilla ores and materials. So, like, diamonds, gold, redstone, lapis, iron, and coal and stuff. Please. Game. Hello. Please. I can't move. Okay. So, yeah. This is basically just going to be... I'm just going... The, I'm going to make several of these farms, and I want them to be organized. Oh, dear. I just I slowly stepped on it. So, this is for diamonds, gold, lapis, emeralds coal and iron right now there's no emerald because emeralds because i forgot that i was going to be doing emeralds and i wasted all my emeralds on emerald ho hose because you actually need hose to fuel it yeah you see i have a hoe right there now and so i believe you see we have iron we have lots of gold and diamond because i've been farming those um, 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 um and so i've made some plans for what i want to do in the future i have noticed that this solar array it's not enough and i didn't i never thought i never expected it to be enough but the thing is like i desperately need to upgrade my energy 
Now, I could be boring and do the exact same thing as I did in my last Meta Let's Play, which only lasted for like three episodes, because I had very, very few mods and I had nothing to do at one point. So, I have three options. I can make a giant solar array, which is boring. I've done it before, so I think the answer to that is probably going to be no. I think I know which one of the three I'm going to do. Um, and you can probably tell. Um, lava is the other one, which is probably what I'm going to go through, seeing as I've already crafted several lava generators. Or rocket fuel, because rocket fuel can be used as a pretty good fuel source um, in a combustion generator. Um, a type of generator from Ender.io, I'm not really sure, but we could, e with the farming stations over there that we're using, we could easily set up a few, s like, six solar panels, uh, or a few solar panels to constantly power the farming stations, and then that could gain, or that could get us a lot, um, loads upon loads of energy. But the thing is, if rocket fuel... It takes up so many resources, and these, the problem is, these things are kind of slow, plus you can't put capacitors in them, which are basically upgrades, just in case you didn't know. So I think I'm going to go with lava. So I may also made a cobblestone generator tier 3, and this will pump out like one piece of cobblestone for per every second, and I just have it putting into this alloy smelter which is basically just infinitely farming stone as long as I have power just because I need loads of stone for these um for these lava generators oh and by the way look at all these resources I'm farming I have loads upon loads of coal 4,000 coal 800 lapis I'm kind of lacking the iron and lapis department because those I don't have a lot of plants on Diamonds, over 2,000 diamonds. I've been AFKing a lot. Uh, this is basically like bone meal that you get from those plants, which is pretty good. 7,000 gold, 300 redstone, and I had like 4,000, but I used it for all these redstone blocks. Like, look, a stack of redstone blocks. all Like about nine, nine stacks of redstone blocks. So, I did that right before this video. Uh, we are not farming infernium blocks. Uh, what is this vibrant alloy <clears throat> or steel anymore? Uh, because that farm is specifically for default vanilla ores. We will farm those in the future. <clears throat> um, we will hopefully, hopefully. Um, so I think basically, so I have all of these. Let me just let me just craft these up. So there's another stack. I just prepared these. I've been using like this. All of these lava generators, it's re it's going to be resource heavy, like ish, no matter what. But I just happen to have loads upon loads of materials, so I thought this could be I thought I could do it anyway. So you might be thinking, Whoa, that you like you're never going to generate enough oh, I haven't even told you how I'm gonna generate the lava. I'll get to that. But you're probably thinking, Whoa, you're never gonna generate enough lava to use all these and the answer is no I am not but the reason why I crafted so many is because these I'm pretty sure that these generate at a rate of like 60 RF per tick and um, one lava bucket can get about 60,000 RF, which is pretty good, because I'll probably be able to farm lava really easy with the plan that I made, but that's kind of slow, like, in a solar array can easily beat that, but I'm going, if I, you can actually upgrade these, which is the main reason why I crafted as many as I did, you can upgrade these in a, to lava generators tier 2, be, um, I need dragon's breath for that, so I want to make a few tier 3, and I think I have about nine stacks. Sorry for any background noise. I'm in a normally I record out in the middle of nowhere, but now I'm like in the city, um, just recording right now. And it's just there are a lot of noises from time to time, and that is really annoying. What is that? I don't even know. Uh, so basically, I need dragon's breath to upgrade these, and which means I would have to have a I would have to do the dragon fight, which probably going to happen in the next episode just because I need the dragon's breath. 
But any more stone, please? Any more stone? Uh, oh, we can make another stack. Thank you, good sir. I I depleted. I used up a, quite a bit, bit of my cobblestone supply. So yeah, uh, that were stored over there. But in turn, while we were talking about over there, which is also my storage house, this storage situation, no, it's not happening. We need better storage. So the storage, this is storage drawers, which is. It's decent, but it's not really that good at getting the job done. So, what I was thinking we could do is, um, um, um what was a refined storage? If we get into refined storage, the thing is that requires quite a bit of power, which is why we're going to be doing this lava generator stuff. Oh, and to generate lava, you can actually get a lava bucket with fire essence, which can, or basically, if you plant tier two seeds fire seeds which are quite easy to make you can get fire essence and easily farm lava so we would probably have to make a large farm um i'm not sure exactly how large that scale probably won't be enough but if we make us like take that times four or even possibly nine if we make an absolutely massive farm then we will yeah, then we will, act, we will be able to generate these lava. So basically the setup is I'm going to have to, I'm going to have a crafting thing or even possibly multiple crafting things that basically pump the lava buckets or they make the lava buckets. I'm going to have thing like little dispensers like chests holding several empty buckets. So just imagine. And then they're going to pump it into uh, fluid tanks right here, which are going to dr turn it into fluid instead of um, instead of buckets of lava. And then these fluid tanks are going to push all the lava into the lava generators, which are going to generate energy. The energy is going to be sucked out via energy conduits ender energy conduits i don't remember th that being that S um and is that it is that everything i actually believe so oh and re with refined storage hold on let me see it's a lot of cool but complicated stuff and with refined storage we need apparently i've been looking some stuff up but apparently we need a few main resources we need quartz enriched iron which we have iron and we have basically you need iron and quartz basically so i'll probably have to ramp up iron production we also need diamonds which we have lots of gold which we have which we have so much of but the big thing is we need lots of silicon now i have that much silicon which should probably be enough and you're probably asking well how did you get all the silicon and the answer is, I put, oh, I'm surprised this isn't lacking on power, but I put sand into an, a sag mill, and you might be wondering, how did you get all the sand to get all the silicon? I put gravel into a sag mill, which got me all the sand, and then you might even be asking yourself, how did you get all the gravel? to make all the sand uh, to, that you put in the sag mill to get all of the sand. The answer is cobblestone. I put this exact same cobblestone generator, which will constantly pump up the energy into the sag mill. Then I just had a little setup that kept going, AFK, and bam, all the silicon made. It took up a lot of time. But hold on, let me type in at refined storage. Um, 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 um. There we go, it's better. So, okay, so I believe the first thing we're going to need is, like, a controller. Yeah, and you see we're going to need silicon, quartz-enriched iron, a diamond, and you see, perfect example, and then we can make, like, and then I think we're going to need these things called, I've never done this mod before, just so you know, soldiers, which you need sticky pistons. I believe we can actually get slime quite easily, and yeah. Um, and then basically these can hold storage. So if we get make a, a storage machine, we can basically have the storage disk which can store items. And uh, the best one is apparently like 512. So you need food storage part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a lot of stuff. Um, 
Ooh, this is to hold 64 item storage part. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, to make a 64 item storage disk, it's not that hard, actually. I thought it would be a lot harder. But yeah, you can do lots of cool stuff with this mod. And it's just amazing. Oh, by the way, uh, since it's a different day, the internet connection here, where I am, is currently down. So that's what my Steve's Alex. I also got some cool glasses, which are supposed to be here, so I don't take... So that they don't take any durability. Don't you just like my swag look? <laughs> like, I have this nice little trench coat and these nice glasses with these nice pants and these void crystal boots. So, anyways, that is going to be the end of the episode there. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this talky episode where I haven't really done much on camera. Just talked about some plans and showed what I've been doing while I'm away. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed, and I especially hope that you'll come back for the next episode. Come back, please. I'm begging you. <gasps> I'm begging you. Bye. The dragon fight is tomorrow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear.